Many frustrated buyers who are looking for a specific house of their dreams and can find it because there's always something missing and that's how it is. They ask me this question, should I buy land and build my own house, even participate in the designing of my house, then I will have the perfect house for myself. Does it make sense? Is it cost effective? Well, th today's video is about that. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Consider subscribing because in this channel, I talk about buying and selling real estate and enjoying life in the Boston area. This is Nune and Boston Area Homes. Well, National Association of Home Builders recently uh, took a look into the Bureau of Labor Statistics Producer Price Index. Well, that's a lot to say, PPI regarding the prices of building materials for residential construction. And their data shows that overall, the building material cost year to date has increased 19%. In contrast, the index for final demand goods has climbed 7.2% year to date, although the lumber prices have gone down since the pandemic of earlier uh, last year, the decline has offset by large increases in prices of multitude of other products. Here are the 10 construction materials that had the most growth. Some of these building materials actually had a major increase in the last three months. What about land prices, you might ask? Is there land? Well, I can talk about Boston and the surrounding suburbs. So here I have Boston, anything that is available for land in Boston. As you can see, there is some land available in Dorchester, Jamaica Plain, Mattapan, Hyde Park uh, neighborhoods, and the prices go from 229 up to 3 million. Of course, the neighborhood has to be uh, a place where you want to live. And the average price for the land is about 800000 So now I am on MLS and looking at the very close suburbs of Boston. And if you can look at the prices, 2 million, almost 3 million, 749. Of course, the square footages are much, much bigger than the Boston ones. And the average sale price is about 1.5. 5 million. So the other thing to consider is labor cost because as fewer and fewer young people go into construction, the labor costs are gonna go much, much higher. So which one is cheaper, building a new house or buying an existing home? According to National Association of Realtors, the median price for a single family home nationally is 334,500. The cost of building a new home will be 332,524. But each approach has its pros and cons. Let's look at several factors. Upfront costs. Building a new home, probably the new home will be more spacious and will have all the things that you're looking for. No extra things that you don't need. Maintenance. Older homes have more wear and tear, which means more maintenance. New homes require less upkeep. Landscaping. Existing homes have mature landscaping. New homes, builders usually do very minimal landscaping. It may take you thousands of dollars and many years to get to that level. Energy efficiency. Existing homes have older windows and appliances most of the time, which is wasted energy. New homes usually consume on average 21% less energy for heating than older homes. Location. Existing homes usually have better locations. New homes are further away. And timing. New house, you need to wait for sometimes up to a year to move in. When you buy an existing home, you can move in right after closing. I do have a buyer's guide. Uh, I will link in the description box below that outlines what you need to do if you are a new buyer getting into the market and making your offers accepted. And watch my next video. Please like and subscribe.